This week's paintless dent repair from San Jose, California will be this GMC Sierra truck. The customer called me up and asked, and I quote, can you pop out my door dent only? Unquote. Stay tuned in this 10 minute video, I will get this dent from looking like this to this, leaving the paint intact. Hello, I am Ken, your host, the man that rips on steel. This dent affected a 39 inch area on the panel. Using a PDR light, you can see all the imperfections. First step, I'll be using a plastic trim removal tool to lift and separate the molding strip from the panel. The molding is obstructing my tools from pulling the deepest section of the dent. My second tool I'll be using, it's an eraser wheel. This tool is great for fast, high-speed removal of pinstripes, decals, vinyl tape, and adhesive from cars. This tool, you have to be really careful. You have to stay locked in and focused. You have to keep your wheel moving at a controlled speed so you do not damage the paint. If you're new to my channel, mention in the comments that you're a new subscriber and the man that rips on steel will comment back. My third step, I'm going to pull out my DeWalt battery powered polisher. I'm going to clean up the remaining residue. Next, I'm setting up my post pulling tower. My tool cart is lined up next to the truck. I pulled out a collision tab and I'm squeezing hot glue and spreading it evenly on the surface. These tools that I'm using, you will find on my website listed down below in the description. I'm going to take the tab and place it horizontally across the deepest section of the dent. I'm going to squeeze hot glue on the second tab and place it right next to the first tab. I'm going to be careful and make sure the black hooks are lined up. I grab my third tab and I'm squeezing hot glue evenly on the surface. I'm going to place this horizontally just above the bottom body line. Grabbing my fourth tab, spreading hot glue on the surface evenly. Going to place it right next to my third tab. I'm going to be careful not to press too hard. I don't want to push out all the glue. I grab two pulling pins out of the toolbox. I'm going to push both pins through the hooks. I hooked up my chain to the tabs. Next, I grabbed a simple four ounce ball peen hammer. I'm looking down the side, watching the crown go down and the dent come out. I placed a square piece of Gorilla Tape on the flat surface. This allows for a softer surface and it will not scratch the paint. This is a great car hack if you can't afford a paintless dent repair blending hammer. Next, I'm going to adjust the pulley chain. I'm turning the handle counterclockwise to lower the chain. My chain is hooked up to the lower set of tabs. I'm running power to the pulling tower. The dent is releasing. I'm looking down the side, paying attention to the crown and the deepest section of the dent. I picked up the hammer. I'm gonna swing the hammer underneath the glue tabs. I'm going to begin lightly hitting the crown to get the dent to release even further. Here is another car tip. Notice I did not put the hot glue tabs on the rocker guard paint. Instead, I placed it just above the rocker guard. My next major step, I'm going to remove the door from the hinges. Laying the door horizontally on the rack with wheels. I pulled out the wire harness and you can see I have a large access point for my dent tools. My next tip and hacks that work extremely well on car dents, I'm gonna use pliers and a plastic strip to roll the edge back into place on the bottom section of the door. This plastic will push down on the crown as you're rolling the metal. 
I ran my PDR tool through the wire harness, pushing up the back side of the damage. Notice I did not glue tab this section of the dent. If you pull on the rocker guard paint, it will rip off and you will have more damage. Now I'm going to move my dent tool and light to another section of the dent. You can see how this tool is bouncing on the back side of the panel. Are there any PDR rods that resonate with you? Tools that feel good when you grip them? Post a comment down below. I would love to hear your insight and your expertise. Going to move the tools and light 90 degrees. Next, I'm going to remove the remaining light creases. I'm using a polished tip metal knockdown, taking down some high areas of the crease. I'm going to speed up the clip. Next, I'm going to use some special PDR tips on the back side. Are you wanting some beginner one-on-one -on -one training with the man that rips on steel? Post a comment down below. You can see the tip is smoothing out the remaining damage. The overall shape of the dent is looking better. I'm getting close to finishing. You can see the remaining paint scuff and tool marks. I'm gonna pull the trigger on my battery powered DeWalt polisher and clean it up. I'm running the polishing pad around 1200 RPMs on the panel. Final step, I'm gonna mount the door back in place. Let's take a look at the final results. Thank you for watching my video. If you need some more car tips and hacks, or if you like beginner one-on-one in-person training, message me down below. I have the tool links down below in the description. Like, comment, and subscribe so I can help you out on your next dent. I will see you in my next video clip.